There is no time like the present to start using alternative energy sources to power your home. No, just in case you are thinking, I'm not talking about nuclear energy, after the disasters in Japan and earlier in Chernobyl. I'm talking about wholly natural, renewable forms of energy which one can use completely safely. Wind energy and solar energy along with tidal energy can be put to great use for domestic purposes. In fact, there are thousands of success stories in the United States itself, of how people have made their own solar panels and managed to reduce their electricity bills by a whole lot. Some even claim that they don't need to pay electricity bills at all. In order to take advantage of the vast energy source of the sun, you need to get hold of photovoltaic cells. These cells are basically made of semiconducting material. This material is basically special because it contains highly excitable electrons. When placed in the sun, these electrons get energized and thus travel throughout the photovoltaic cell. This movement of the electrons can be used to generate electricity and this is exactly what is done in practice. What is best about these solar panels is that they are virtually maintenance free and once you get one of them, you can be rest assured that all you need to do is clean them from time to time for a good 20, 25 years. Plus the carbon footprint is negligible. But this gives rise to the all important question. What do you do during the night time? What happens during nightfall when we actually need a lot more electricity than we do in the daytime? Simple, we store the energy. You can store solar energy at high temperature using molten salt. This is a really cost-effective way of storing energy. Another thing you can do is use rechargeable batteries. Another alternative energy source is the wind. But if you think about it, wind energy is actually an offshoot of solar energy. Why? Because winds are actually caused due to uneven heating of the atmosphere by the sun. This form of energy can be tapped into using modern wind turbines. What these turbines do is actually convert the energy present in the wind into mechanical power which is then used to generate electricity. We can use this mechanical energy directly for simple tasks such as say, grinding of grain or even, pumping water. Now, of course, generators are used to convert this form of energy to electricity for schools, homes, offices etc. These wind turbines basically resemble aircraft propeller blades. They move in the direction of the wind and this movement is used to operate the generator which then forms electric current. If you want to understand how this works, think of it as the opposite of a fan. Mother Nature has given us apple forms of natural energy. In fact, solar and wind energy are complementary. During the winters, days tend to be more windy than sunny, and during the summers, it is the opposite. So embrace alternative energy sources today. For more details log on to our website.